In this video, we are going to add a nice soft glowing effect to this image. Now, the first thing we need to do is to create a duplicate layer. Now, to do that, just press Ctrl and J, J for Jane on your keyboard, and you will have a duplicate layer like this. Now, while on the duplicate layer, we need to apply the diffuse glow filter. So go to the top here to filter, click on that, go to distort, and then click on diffuse glow. You will now get the screen that you can apply the effect to, and you've got some sliders here that we can adjust. Now zoom close, you'll see at the bottom here, there's a plus and a minus. Zoom close so that you can see properly on the image what we are going to do. Now the first slider you've got is a graininess slider. So if I take it all the way down, you'll notice the image is very clean. If I take it all the way to 10, you'll notice a lot of graininess. Now I love this graininess effect, so I leave it on most of the time. Um, I think I'm going to go with, say, 7. I like that little bit of graininess on there. Then the glow amount. If you take it all the way down to 0, you don't have any glowiness on it. Now, this is the important slider to have. But if you go all the way to 20, it blows it out completely like this. Not what you want. So let's decide to have the glowiness maybe on, say, around 10. I think that looks perfectly fine. I know the whites are blown here, but for the effect I'm going for now, it's not that important. I'm going to show you that we can still bring back some details. It's not that big a deal at this stage yet. Now, the clear amount, if you take it all the way to zero, the image is completely blown out. It's all it's basically clear, total, if you take it all the way to zero. If you go all the way to 20, then you don't really see that clear amount effect in there. So I'm going to go as far as, say, around about there. Now, when I'm done, I just go to the OK option, click on that. It's going to apply that to the second layer. Now, if I click on the visibility icon, you can see there's our original image, and there is the effect that I've applied. Now, like it is now, it's a bit over the top. Now, the nice thing is we can use the opacity slider to bring back detail from the bottom image by just using the slider right here. Now, the opacity, as I explained, have, have explained in previous videos, when this is at 100% opacity, this effect is being shown at 100%. But if you bring the opacity down, we can allow the detail from the bottom image to come through. Now, I love to use the quickie slider, so I'm just going to click on the opacity. And then I'm going to start to drag it down. You'll notice as I'm dragging it down, I'm first going to put it on 100%. Have a look at specifically at this section right here and this section right here we've, where we have lost all the detail on the dress. If I bring it down, you can start to see the wedding dress is coming through again. So if I decide, okay, I want the image to be on, say, 60%, this is what the image looked before. This is what we had. And this is what it looks like when we apply that soft glow. So that soft glow just adds that little bit of softness. And you've got these nice uh, shiny areas right here. It makes it almost look like a nice glossy magazine cover. So I really love to apply this effect. It really makes a big difference. And by controlling the opacity, you can still bring back the details. So blowing it out a little bit in the initial process of adding the effect is not that bad because of the the opacity allows you total control to dial back as much detail as you want. So, for instance, here I've got 30%. So, the effect I've a I'm adding with the glow is not that extreme. And the dress also looks a lot better. There's a lot more detail on the dress. But I prefer to see it. I'm going to go to, say, 60% to look like this. There's more than enough detail on the dress. And the glowiness just adds to it for me. Okay, that's all for this video, and then I'll see you in the next one.